Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Milin. So today I'm going to talk about GTs. The maximum comments I get on my videos and the maximum emails or messages I get are about GTs that how to improve score and how to analyze. And there is a lot of confusion. Though I have released lots and lots of videos and I have given lots and lots of advices about GTs. Still, you know, that confusion is never ending and the questions are also never ending. So today in this video, I am going to try to, you know, finalize it and try to finally address all the issues that uh, all students have regarding GT because it's troubling a lot of students and again, again, they are coming to the same uh, point. So let's try to end this dilemma about uh, GTs uh, today. Second, very important thing I want to tell to all the PG aspirants. Uh, when I was working as an intern, when I used to work with all the stoppers who were my PGs like rank 1, rank 900, rank 9, 99. So I used to feel like I'll get rank just by, uh, I used to work with them. I used to feel like I will also be topper, but just by being with them, I cannot be topper. And I got my very bad rank and I realized I have to work on myself. Similarly, watching a lot of videos, be it my uh, channel videos or any other videos is not going to fetch your rank. So watch videos only if you're uh, facing that particular problem. And if you feel that uh, this is going to help you. So uh, don't watch too many videos as well. Just take a positive things from uh, that. What is going to help you is your notes and your reading. Let's try to end this uh, dilemma about uh, GTs and let's uh, discuss those all uh, frequently asked questions about uh, GTs. So uh, about uh, GTs that what students say, but I have just compiled a few commonly asked questions. So let's talk about th uh, those. First of all, I have... I'll just try to answer them quickly. I'll not take uh, much time. You can just go through all. So how to decide on the number of GTs? A lot of students, they still keep asking me, sir, we have around two months for uh, I, uh, sorry, uh, NIT PG. And we have around one month for, for uh, one uh, few days for uh, I, I. So how to decide on the number and how to improve? So first I'll say, as I have given you the chart that how to analyze the GT. So first, once you get a GT result, try to see what are the major mistakes you're doing. For example, if you're scoring 130 or 120, you're making 70, 80 mistakes. So see what are majorly these mistakes. Are those recall error? Means you are not able to recall whatever you read. read. You know that these are all things are in your notes, but you're not able to uh, answer them. You're not able to remember them. So solution for this question, uh, this problem is you have to do more notes. You have to make charts for volatile subjects. You have to make mnemonics. So work on that part more. You don't have to give more GTs to improve that. Second mistake type of mistake is a uh, analytical mistakes, application error. That means, you know, you don't have any recall problem. You are able to remember, but you are not able to process the question. You are not able to understand the question. If there is a clinical scenario, you are not able to reach to diagnosis. You are not able to connect those dots. So if that is the problem, then you have to solve more MCQs. That is the, in that scenario, you have to give more GTs. In this scenario, your theoretical knowledge will be strong, but your recall will also be good, but you are not able to connect the dots. So what is connecting dot basically? So whenever you have this analytical kind of error, so basically if you, these, these all black dots are basically your information of a different subject. So sometimes what happens to answer a question, you have to connect all the dots. So once you connect all the dots, then you reach to the answer, but it will not happen overnight. Like it's not like if you get a question, you will directly able to connect all the dots. So you can make it better. You can sharpen the skill by practicing more, uh, more and more jetties if you are facing this kind of problem. See what happens as a pediatrician. We know that, you know, initial two years of life, all babies, all children, they learn, they learn how to like uh, all these milestone language, motor, all the milestone, you know, whenever they're developing brain is building those synapses. So whenever uh, to for a learned behavior, so whenever you are trying to learn all these, you know, whenever you are solving these more and more clinical questions, so your brain is trained. So next time you don't have to think your brain directly process the question and he will try to reach to the answer. So if you have this kind of problem, you can go for more and more GTs. So a lot of students ask, can giving more GTs will improve the recall error? Like for this, for an analytical error, I said, solve more MCQs, solve more GTs. So what about recall error? See, what is the problem with the recall error? Let's say this is, these are MCQs about your uh, rank building subject. Let's say these are the, these are different groups. So all these colored circles are different groups on different subjects. This is all your syllabus. So this syllabus is distributed in this way. Now what happens? Now I have to make a grant test. Suppose I am a computer. So computer, what this is now, nowadays we all use app based uh, MCQs. So now I have to make a first grant test. So what I'll do, I'll take a few questions from here, few questions from here, few questions from here, here. So some, definitely some areas will be missed. 
then I have to make another GT. So it's an artificial, artificial intelligence, right? So it will randomly take questions from anywhere. So for the next GT, I will take these kind of questions. Then for the third GT, which I have to make, I'll take this question. So if you will, you will say, even after solving three GTs, there are a lot of areas which will be missed, which will not be covered in GT. So all these circles, all these small, small circles we are seeing outside these areas are the areas that you have missed. So if you have not read that, if you don't know that, how you will, how you will recall? So what is uh, one thing that has everything, all these areas? So what is one thing that can take care of this problem that can have all these areas covered. So basically that is your notes. That is what I'm saying. Whenever you have a recall error, your notes will cover everything. Now, a lot of students ask, sir, why not QBank? I mean, QBank also have, look at the time. If you, there are thousands and thousands of MCQs in QBank. Can you solve every MCQ? No, you don't have to just solve, you have to retain. Notes are crispy, they're easy to revise. That's why again and again, I emphasize on the same point. Now, how to decide uh, then on the number of GTs? Like now you saw, understood the problem, that this is the problem I'm facing. Now, how, how should I decide that? What is the number of grants that I should give? So what you, you should, it should depend on your GT score and not just one GT score. See what I'm showing here, here is your average GT score. I have said in my last video as well, GT score is like CRP single value is insignificant. You have to see your score in two, three GTs. If your score is consistently between 140 to 150, you should give GT every week. That will sharpen your skill. Your, that shows that your theory is strong. You just need to improve your, uh, I mean, you have to you improve your time management and you can afford giving more GTs. If your score is somewhere between 120 to 130, you can uh, give one uh, grand test like in two weeks. So that is the ideal. If your score is between 100 and 120, then one or two in month, not more than that. And then you improve your C. This is like, you can jump from one segment to another. First in GT, your score is this. If you improved this score, then you can improve the number of GTs. But if you're consistently between 100 to 120, then you should go back to your notes. You should go back to your main source and then you think about it. If your score is consistently 100, there is no point in wasting time in GTs. First, make sure your foundation is good. Make sure your notes, your uh, main source is good. And then go, go for that. Now you'll ask me that, sir, I'm showing about uh, only 140, 150, 120, 130. Does, why, why does it make sense? Like why I'm not showing like 180 or 170. If you see the uh, previous, like uh, last year, uh, 2021 NEET uh, rank list, you'll see that, see, this is where uh, we target. If you get a rank below 5,000, you can get any branch, like either you'll get MD or DNB, but all the cream branches you'll get if you are within 5,000. So within five, get to rank uh, uh, within 5,000 or even to get like around 3,700, you need 156, around 150 correct. So that is what I'm trying to tell you that your target is not very high. See 180, there will be only one person who scores 180. And like, if you score like 168, your rank will be around 500. So basically your target is not high. We don't have to get like 200 marks. So in even in, in your GTs, if you're consistently scoring between 140 to 150, you can trust me in this part. I'm saying consistently, like your, your regular score is that definitely you can end up here in a top ranks. You should be consistent because you don't need 180 or 200 correct to uh, get into cream rank. So this is what our target is. So don't overdo it. Don't underdo it. Your real exam will be much easier than what your GT is. So try to target score of 140, 150 in GTs. That is the best score. So you can get the best rank. Even if 120, 130 is, uh, is your score consistently. It is also okay. 1520 extra you'll get, but you'll get around 13,000 rank. You'll not get a very good rank or a very good branch, but definitely you can go there. So as I have said, this is the repeat slide from my last video. So your GT progress should be like a straight line. It should not straight line, but it should have a less fluctuation like plus 10 minus 10 around the line. It should not like one dot is here and one dot is above. It should, it should not like a zigzag pattern. It should be a rather uh, like line with a, a least uh, division. So that's all guys. I want to tell you about GT. So I hope uh, this makes sense to you and uh, you apply all the things in your preparation and don't uh, waste your time behind GTs. So just analyze your GTs, see what kind of mistakes you are doing and don't waste time on discussing again and again about GTs because I'm getting a lot of comments and even after I release, I have released a lot of videos and a lot of discussions about GTs. Don't make it a big deal. Your notes, PYQs is your basic source and try to improve on them. So I wish you all the best and uh, take care.